Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Pigments. This is video 29, and today we're talking about the Stereo Pan Effect Module. That can be found in the FX section. Let's click our drop-down menu here. And on the third row, the third one over here called Stereo Pan. Now, this one is probably one of my favorite effects in this whole synth here. And this is kind of what it does. So it's pretty self-explanatory, but uh, let me show this off to you. So we have an auto panner here, and there's a couple different things that make this thing so cool. So first of all, we can see this field here, and this is basically going to be representing the stereo field in which our signal is panned left and right from. Now with this mount knob, we can always drag this to the left to make it a little bit more narrow, or all the way to the right to make it super wide. So here's kind of a narrow field here. So it's moving, and it's just kind of right in front of us, and if we move this all the way to the right... It's pretty crazy, that's pretty wide stereo field in headphones, it can kind of make you feel sick, which is really cool. And then over here we have the rate, so how fast we want this to go, and if we go to sync, this is really cool because we can time this with our tempo, so we don't really have to draw in automation if we're doing some type of panning stuff. We can just load up this module, set this to sync, and our time right here, and then our amount of how wide or how narrow we want to make this sound, and then boom. We could do something kind of like that. Then we have invert, uh, invert here, inverts the LFO output. And then what's cool is here is we have mono bass. So let's turn this on here and let's get kind of a thicker sound to kind of demonstrate this. So let's turn on some voices of unison. So eight here and a second oscillator. Let's bring down our volume just a bit here and see how this sounds. So turn this off. Okay, so this is going to be the signal that we're working with. Let's maybe drop one of these oscillators down by like an octave. Okay, so we have a pretty decent sound going on here. So now we go over to the stereo pan here and let's turn on mono bass, which is already selected here because I just selected that earlier. And now this cutoff knob becomes available. So with this off, the cutoff knob is disabled. And if we turn this on, it becomes enabled. So now basically we can choose a cutoff frequency. So anything below this, so anything right here, for example, below 130 is gonna be mono. So it's not gonna be moving back and forth and back and forth like the stereo panning is doing. So it kind of helps not to move our lower end frequencies if we don't wanna move them. However, we can move our topper or higher end frequencies. Frequencies. So over here, above everything above 200 hertz is going to be uh, is going to be st static. It's not going to be moving. So very cool effect right over there. And now over here we have natural mode. If we hover our mouse over here, this is natural mode. Natural mode output gain of wet dry are the same as perceived level. So with this off, it kind of sounds more so to my ears, like it's more of an intense effect. It kind of sounds maybe a little bit more, I don't really want to say fake, but it sounds a little bit more artificial, I guess you'd say. And then with a the natural, I guess, engage, that's actually a very perfect name for it, natural. It's kind of more so what I think our ears would expect to hear. And let's say you like this, you can always drop down in the preset menu and save it as, so you can always reload whatever type of setting you made for your stereo pan, which again is really cool in pigments because you can save your presets in all of these effects mo effect modules. Very, very cool. And they also give you a couple of these uh, default here. So let's check out fast to see what that sounds like. And then over here we have Leslie. It's actually a very cool effect right there. And last but not least, we have Widen Highs. Which as you can tell, they enabled the mono bass, put this all the way up at 200 and then made the amount not too wide, but a decent amount to kind of move those highs, kept it on natural and the sync looks like it's at one over eight. So very, very cool right there. So 
So just a little things like this, like this module can really bring your patches alive. And, and truth be told, with this uh, patch here, we really only have eight voices of unison, two saw waves with a little bit of drift at the, the default is like 0 .0, 0 0.01, and then just a default of wide highs. And yeah, one last thing to show you over here. So let's turn this one off over here. Let's go to our auxiliary and let's select the auto panel from here and go to the same preset of widen heights. And over on our synth tab, we can send a little bit to the effect. So we can have a lot of it there. And we can send just a little bit. To kind of have a little tickle of that. So yeah, everybody likes to be tickled at one point or not in their lives. So anyway, um, a tickling aside is a very, very cool module. So definitely check it out and play with it because you can make your patches sound really, really cool and make them come alive as they should. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.